On to question three. Uh, caffeine is the stimulant in coffee and tea and has the molecular formula C8H10N4O2. Uh, calculate the mass percentage of each element in the substance. Give the answers to three significant figures. Okay, so they give us the formula for caffeine. And to answer this question, we want to assume that we have one mole of caffeine. And from there, we can calculate the number of moles and then hence the number of grams of each of the atoms that are present in one molecule of caffeine. So the first step is to find all of the grams or carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen that are contained in one mole of caffeine. So I'm going to do an example calculation for the carbon. If we had one mole of caffeine, I can show that we have eight moles of carbon and one mole of caffeine. So we can multiply this by eight to get eight moles of carbon. And then I'm just going to add here, assume one mole of caffeine Okay, so now we know we have eight moles of carbon. If we multiply by carbon's atomic mass, which is 12.01 grams per mole, then we know how many grams of carbon we have, which is 96.08 grams. Okay, so we can do the same thing. Uh, let's move on to hydrogen. We know we have 10 moles of hydrogen. We are going to multiply this by hydrogen's atomic mass, which is 1.01 .01 grams per mole, to give us 10.1 grams of hydrogen. Next, let's move on to the nitrogen. Four moles of nitrogen and one mole of caffeine. Multiply it by the atomic mass of nitrogen, which is 14.01 grams per mole. So we end up getting 56 Point zero four grams of nitrogen. And then lastly, there are two moles of oxygen and one mole of caffeine. And oxygen's atomic mass is around 15.99. So if we multiply it, we end up getting 32 grams of oxygen. So if we add all these values up, we can get the total mass of one mole of caffeine. Okay, so adding them all up, you end up getting 194. 0.22 grams. I'm going to put this in a box. So now that we have all these different masses, 
The second part of the question is just actually calculating the mass percentage. So the mass percent is equal to the mass of your component divided by the total mass multiplied by 100. Okay, so first let's do the mass percent of carbon. The mass of carbon was 96.08 And we are going to divide by the total mass of caffeine, which is 194.22. Multiply this value by 100. Gives us a percentage of 49.47%. Let's do the same thing for hydrogen. 10.1 grams divided by 194.22 grams times 100 gives us a percentage of 5.20%. For nitrogen, we had 56.04 grams divided by 194.22 times 100 gives 28.85 grams, or percent, sorry. And then lastly, the mass percentage of oxygen is equal to 32 grams divided by 194.22 times 100 is equal to 16.48%. Okay, so you can double check your answer and if you add up all the different percentages, you should get 100%. So let's see what the junior tutor said. First thing we have to do is to assume the total number of moles of the compound. For this problem, we are going to assume that there is one mole of caffeine. Okay, so they showed how they got eight moles of carbon, 10 moles of hydrogen, four moles of nitrogen, two moles of oxygen. We then have to convert these number of moles into their respective masses using their atomic masses. So they showed the multiplication of their atomic masses to get 96 grams carbon, 10 grams hydrogen, 56 grams nitrogen, 32 grams oxygen. Getting the total mass of one mole of caffeine, we have 194 grams. And then getting the mass percentages of each component, the mass of the component divided by total mass of compound times 100 gives us the percent mass of the component. So for carbon, 96 divided by 194 div times 100 gave 49.485%. For hydrogen, around 5.155%. Nitrogen, 28.866, and oxygen, 16.495. Yep, so pretty much the same as what I got as well. So this solution is correct.